from the headquarters of Telesur English in Havana, Cuba. This is from the south. I'm your anchor, Gladys Quesada. We begin in Honduras, where with just days to go before the general elections, the population is optimistic about a possible change of government. But there is also uncertainty due to the political violence reported. Our correspondent, Gilda Silberstrucci, brings us more details. The daily lives of Hondurans continue as normal. In the squares, people continue with their daily activities, such as Don Raul Soto, who sells water to earn a living. Sincerely, to support a family, this is no good. But to be able to make it through the day, because right now I have no obligations, it's just me. Although he no longer has a family that depends on him, he assures he will vote for a change so that his children can find work. Because I have daughters, and they are professionals, and in this government there has been nothing. If we continue with this government, we will die of hunger. Five million Hondurans are registered in the electoral roll, and a massive turnout is expected due to the mood is perceived among the population. I am in the best of spirits, and let's trust in God that we can go out to vote early, go out with all the willingness and with all the civic and patriotic enthusiasm to cast our ballots. We hope for a change in this country. We have seen 12 years of conservative dictatorship, and we can't stand anymore. Although there have been signs of violence in recent weeks, this does not seem to deter voters who are confident the process will bring about change. Of course, there has to be a change. We are optimistic. We cannot continue with corrupt governments. And yes, there is certain fear, but there is also courage, joy, and people in the streets tell us it is forbidden to be afraid. After 12 years of nationalist government, the electoral process is seen as a historical step, which will depend on the massive turnout at the polls. The right-wing strategy in Honduras is to destabilize the process, to try to demoralize the population, to demobilize it. There are 13 candidates for the presidency, but the favorites are Xiomara Castro, who is backed by the five political parties, and the ruling party's candidate, Nasri Asfura. Telesur Honduras.